stop scrolling for a second and look at your desk. Is there a giant, noisy tower taking up all the space? Or maybe a laptop that sounds like a jet engine when you open too many tabs? Now, imagine replacing all of that with a tiny, silent box that costs less than a high-end phone but outperforms computers twice its size. We're talking about the Mac Mini. Specifically, the rumored M5 Mac Mini. The whispers in the tech world are getting louder. Is Apple about to drop a new compact powerhouse that redefines desktop computing? Or are they going to skip a generation and leave us waiting until 2026? If you're thinking about buying a Mac right now, you need to hear this. We're going to break down the leaks, the specs, and the release timeline to help you decide if the mini Mac is worth the wait or if you should pull the trigger on the current model today. Let's start with the context. The Mac Mini has always been the underdog of the Apple lineup. It doesn't have a screen. It doesn't have a keyboard. It's just a box. But for millions of people, developers, video editors, students, and home lab enthusiasts, it is the perfect computer. In late 2024, Apple gave the Mac Mini its biggest redesign in 15 years. They shrank it by 50%. It became this impossibly small, dense block of aluminum that looked beautiful on any desk. They packed it with the M4 and M4 Pro chips, making it a legitimate workstation. So, where do we go from here? The M5 chip is the next logical step in Apple's silicon roadmap. But what will it actually bring to the table? First, let's talk about the brain, the CPU. The M5 is expected to retain the 10-core CPU design we saw in the base M4 model. That means six efficiency cores for background tasks and four performance cores for the heavy lifting. But don't let the core count fool you. Apple is a master of optimization. We are expecting a 25% boost in multi-core performance thanks to architectural improvements and faster clock speeds. Single core performance, which is what makes your computer feel snappy when opening apps or browsing the web, will also see a healthy bump. For day-to-day -day use, this means everything happens instantly. For pros, it means faster compile times for code and smoother playback for 4K video. But the real story might be the graphics. The GPU is where the M5 could shine. The base M4 chip bumped the GPU core count from 8 to 10. Industry leaks suggest the M5 could push that to 12 cores. Two extra cores might not sound like much, but in the world of integrated graphics, that is a massive leap. It means better frame rates in games, faster rendering in Blender, and smoother AI performance. Then there's the M5 Pro. This is the chip for the power users. The current M4 Pro is already a beast with up to 20 GPU cores. The M5 Pro could take that even further, potentially offering up to 22 GPU cores and 12 performance cores. If you're editing 8K video, working with complex 3D scenes in Cinema 4D, or training local AI models. This is the chip you want. It would essentially put Mac's studio-level performance into a box that fits in your hand. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, RAM and storage. Apple has finally standardized 16 gigabytes of unified memory as the baseline. Thank goodness. The days of struggling with 8 gigabytes are over. We expect the M5 Mac Mini to continue this trend, offering 16 gigabytes, 24 gigabytes, and 32 gigabytes options. But the big rumor, the one we are all praying for, is about storage. Speculation suggests Apple might finally kill the 256 gigabytes base model. In 2025, 256 gigabytes is barely enough for the operating system and a few apps. If Apple bumps the base storage to 512 gigabytes, the value proposition of the Mac mini skyrockets. It would mean you don't have to immediately buy an external SSD just to install your games or store your photos. And for the Pro model, a one terabyte starting point would be a game changer for professionals. The biggest question mark, however, is timing. When is this thing actually coming out? This is where things get tricky. Mark Gurman, the most reliable Apple analyst out there says the M5 chip will debut in 2025 in the iPad Pro. But he hasn't explicitly said the Mac Mini will get it in the same year. Some sources think the Mac Mini might not see an update until early 2026. Or worse, 
Apple might skip the M5 entirely for the desktop and wait for the M6. Why would they do that? It's all about production cycles. The Mac Mini just got a huge redesign in late 2024. Apple might feel that the M4 is good enough for now and focus their resources on other products like the OLED MacBook Pro. If that happens, we could be waiting a long time for an update. But if you're an optimist, a late 2025 release is still on the table. Let's talk price. Apple knows the Mac Mini is the gateway drug into their ecosystem. The $599 price point is sacred. It allows students and budget-conscious creators to get a powerful Mac without breaking the bank. We expect the base M5 Mac Mini to stay at $599. The M5 Pro version will likely hover around $1,399. This pricing structure works perfectly. It undercuts almost every high-end Windows Mini PC on the market while offering better build quality in Mac OS. So what should you do? Should you buy the M4 Mac Mini now or wait for the M5? Here is my honest opinion. If you need a computer today, if your current machine is dying, or if you're starting a new job, buy the M4 Mac Mini. It is an incredible machine. It is fast, silent, and will last you for five years easily. Don't play the waiting game if it hurts your productivity. But if you can wait, if your current setup is okay for another 6 to 12 months, then hold off. The M5 generation promises meaningful upgrades in graphics and potentially storage that will make the machine much more future-proof. Plus, by waiting, you might catch a price drop on the M4 models when the new ones are announced. The Mac Mini is more than just a computer. It is a statement. It says that you don't need a massive tower to do big work. It proves that efficiency and power can coexist. Whether it is the M5 or the M6, the future of this little box is bright. If you like the video, subscribe, share the video, and hit the bell icon like that so you don't miss any updates on the Apple Silicon Roadmap. We will be tracking every leak and rumor right here. Thanks for watching.